Kinetic Typography version 2. Here's the project, including Square, Portrait, HD and 4K. The same kinetic animation, but in different aspect ratio. In our example, we will use the HD. Let's see the first one, HD Tracking. Here's the HD Tracking animation. In the blue color layer, there are the controls. These controls include text color, background color, and background opacity. Double click your green color layer and edit this text. After editing the text, your animation is ready. Quick and easy. Let's jump to our second, AZ Tile. The blue color layer is for the controls and the green color layers are for the text. The text can be edited in the same way. Double click, text number one, select your text and just edit. The same for second text and the third. The blue color layer includes some controls. And these controls are the three text colors and the two background colors. Let's jump to our third, HD stack. Green color layer is for the text. Blue color layer for the controls. And the controls include text color, background color, opacity, as well as checkbox for the distort. The first one, the second, uncheck it if you don't need it. Really easy. Let's go to our squeeze. Green color layers for the text, blue color layer for the controls, text color number one. There's a tracking slider for text number one and text number two in order to fully adjust and align this text. There's a global scale, a text X scale, and X scale for text number two. Finally, there's a minimum scale and a maximum scale. And this minimum scale includes the minimum scale of this squeeze text and the maximum scale of this stretch text. There's also a particle opacity and the background color. Let's jump to our HD scroll. There are three text holders here in the green color layer. Double click text number one and edit the text one by one. Top number one, two, center, bottom number two and bottom number one. Just edit the text. The blue color layer includes text colors, the tracking, and there is also a noise opacity. This noise is in the background. Let's go to our line. The text is in the green color layer and the controls here include the set of the text color. There is a text spacing here for your words. The line color, line width, background opacity and there are six point controls for adjusting the line and this way you will fit your word inside. There is also a checkbox in case you need a round line. Let's go to our HD Distort, HD Distort, green color layer for the text, blue color layer for the controls. The controls include text colors, text line spacing, global scale and the background color as well. Of course you can remove the particles opacity. HD Diagonal, the same structure, the green color is for the text and the blue color is for the controls. Let's go to our circles. Double click to edit the text. The text is aligned in this mask. It's really easy to edit. Just place your text here. After editing the text, select the blue color layer and adjust the tracking just your words in the circle, text color number one and speed number one. 
you can increase or decrease the speed of your moving circle text. Speed is included for all text, so you can have different speeds while the text is moving. Finally, there is the break. Green color layer for the text, blue color layer for the controls, and these yellow layers are where the text start to break. Let's go to the first one. There is an X offset. You can move it and take it to a different position. That is very handy. Placing your own word with your own fonts, these breakpoints should be adjusted. So there is X and Y offset, the scale, and a rotation as well. I really hope you enjoy working with this Kinetic Typography version 2. This template is available for Premiere Pro 2. Thanks for watching.